So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at another HTML element, which not a lot of people know about, but can offer you some benefits in terms of semantically describing the page that you're creating. And that is the menu element. And you're probably used to doing something like this when you're creating a menu uh, on the top of your page. So you probably have like something like a nav element and then an unordered list inside it. But you can actually use a different HTML element instead of that unordered list. And that is the menu element. So if we just replace that unordered list with a menu tag. Uh, the only thing I've really noticed in Chrome with the element is that when you actually use it, uh, it has got a slightly more padding on the list items. Uh, as you notice, it just kind of shifts across a bit to the right there. Uh, but as with all of these things, it can be controlled with CSS as well. So what are the benefits of using the menu element? Well, as you can see, it's not offering us too much in terms of visual changes uh, from an unordered list, uh, but it will actually provide a better semantic layout of our site, which helps with things like accessibility and SEO, of course. So we're just better describing the contents of our page, both to the browser and to the user as well. And uh, support for the actual menu element is pretty good. As you can see from Can I Use, uh, it's pretty much supported all the way back to IE. But there is a few caveats here and there saying that this is experimental. Uh, so it might be worth just testing it out in the browsers that you're targeting. Um, but it should be fairly safe to use uh, in the most common modern browsers. But there you go, there's another HTML element that you may not have come across. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.